You will hear a guide at an art museum talking to a group of visitors. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 16. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. Good morning and welcome to the museum, one with a remarkable range of exhibits which I'm sure you'll enjoy. My name's Greg and I'll tell you about the various collections as we go around. But before we go, let me just give you a taste of what we have here. Well, for one thing, we have a fine collection of 20th and 21st century paintings many by very well-known artists. I'm sure you'll recognize several of the paintings. This is the gallery that attracts the largest number of visitors, so it's best to go in early in the day before the crowds arrive. Then there are the 19th century paintings. The museum was opened in the middle of that century, and several of the artists each donated one work to get the museum started, as it were. So they're of special interest to us. We feel closer to them than to other works. The Sculpture Gallery has a number of fine exhibits, but I'm afraid it's currently closed for refurbishment. You'll need to come back next year to see it properly, but a number of the sculptures have been moved to other parts of the museum. Around the World is a temporary exhibition. You've probably seen something about it on TV or in the newspapers. It's created a great deal of interest because it presents objects from every continent and many countries and provides information about their social context why they were made, who for, and so on. Then there's the collection of coins. This is what you might call a focused specialist collection because all the coins come from this country and were produced between 2,000 and 1,000 years ago. And many of them were discovered by ordinary people digging their gardens and donated to the museum. All our porcelain and glass was left to the museum by its founder when he died in 1878 and in the terms of his will, we're not allowed to add anything to that collection. He believed it was perfect in itself, and we don't see any reason to disagree. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 17 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 17 to 20. Okay, that was something about the collections, and now here's some more practical information, in case you need it. Most of the museum facilities are downstairs in the basement, so you go down the stairs here. When you reach the bottom of the stairs, you'll find yourself in a sitting area with comfortable chairs and sofas where you can have a rest before continuing your exploration of the museum. We have a very good restaurant which serves excellent food all day in a relaxing atmosphere. To reach it, when you get to the bottom of the stairs, go straight ahead to the far side of the sitting area, then turn right into the corridor. You'll see the door of the restaurant facing you. If you just want a snack or if you'd like to eat somewhere with facilities for children, we also have a cafe. When you reach the bottom of the stairs, you'll need to go straight ahead, turn right into the corridor, and the cafe is immediately on the right. And talking about children, there are baby changing facilities downstairs. Cross the sitting area, continue straight ahead along the corridor on the left, and you and your baby will find the facilities on the left-hand side. The cloakroom, where you should leave coats, umbrellas, and any large bags, is on the left-hand side of the sitting area. It's through the last door before you come to the corridor. 
There are toilets on every floor, but in the basement, they're the first rooms on the left when you get down there. Okay, now if you've got anything to leave in the cloakroom, please do that now, and then we'll start our tour. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers.